Lucinda Wu. Uh, thank you to Mr. Bergen and Mr. Halliwell for, for appearing. Um, and congratulations to Ms. Halliwell for your success on Thrive Health. But I actually want to ask you about your previous company, Pulse uh, Energy. Uh, you, you told us a brief bit about the, how you exited that company. Um, and I wanted to hear from you uh, what you felt were the types of government interventions that helped Pulse Energy to be successful. And you are welcome to say that none of them did. Uh, but also, uh, tell us a little bit about your reflections on the fact that you had to exit in favor of an American company. You sold to a Boston-based uh, 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 acquirer. And the thinking around how and why the company could not retain Canadian status and ownership. Great, thank you, Senator Wu. Uh, well, that's that's lots of lots of stuff to go through. So, first off, uh, there are some some nice stories with Pulse Energy and and government support, starting with uh, when it was just just an a, an idea. Uh, the IRAP helped us with a twenty thousand dollar market assessment, uh, and then that continued over over the next nine years. A number of different IRAP projects, uh, up to several hundred thousand thousand dollars. Uh, Sustainable Development Technology Canada also supported us, uh, and that enabled some provincial support as as well. So that was really important. Uh, we actually did it. Uh, we had no foreign investment. It was just the founders were were investing in the in the company, um, and probably the the most important thing that the Canadian government did to help us was on business development and it was a trade commissioner in northern England was on a chat room and uh, saw something that seemed like a good opportunity for Thrive Health with with British Gas who was the biggest utility in the in the UK and sent it along to us and it it sort of seemed like a little out of left field, but it ended up being uh, not only our biggest deal, it was the biggest deal that had ever happened in our industry. Uh, and we never would have known about it if it hadn't been for first that. And then also at the time, uh, Gordon Campbell was the high commissioner to the UK and he and his team, because um, they'd known us from when he was at the BC Premier, um, had really helped us uh, to, you know, just make the deal happen with with British Gas. So it really was a Team Canada approach that we felt very much supported, and it had a, a meaningful impact on on how the company evolved. So definitely, thank thank you for the for, for the government help there. In terms of the second part of your question, first I um, I, I take exception to the to the wording had to exit right because we didn't have to exit. Um, it was, but it was a choice where we where we decided to, and the things that happened there, um, and it was a you know not uncommon situation where we'd seen a lot of success, and uh, in terms of why a U.S. company, so the um, the companies that were actively interested in us, there were two, they were all all three of the others who were there, two giant um, firms out of Germany and one giant firm out of the U.S. And then, and then the Nasdaq company who ended up buying us. Um, so th those were the only ones really in the space at the scale. So this goes to my earlier comments that we need more acquirers in 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 Canada. Um, the question, you know, why did we choose an exit at that point? Uh, and it was a decision of we would have had to put in probably another hundred million dollars to take the next jump to a lot of uncertainty. And it was also quite clear in the market that we were in that consolidation um, was was coming, and we thought we wanted to be well positioned in that timing. So, of of our ten peer companies uh, at that time, there's one left, um, and they've all been acquired uh, and a little bit of pulling together. So, I hope that answers your question. Okay. Thank you. I, I retract my earlier phrasing, and th that was a no, great. No, that I, was that I, was I a great. Know. That was a great story, and I I, I also uh, appreciate your point that uh, it, there just wasn't an option for it to stay in Canada because there wasn't the the acquirer with the size and scale to to take over and to keep it in the country. Great. Yes, 